We all know that water shortage is a problem. According to UN, in 2025, five billion people will live in areas where water is scarce. All we can do is deplete ground and surface water, which leads to climate change like droughts. Another sustainability bomber is the overproduction of your plastic pollen spring water bottles. When you throw that bottle away, you are polluting this world with plastic and carbon dioxide. But do you know that we can simply capture water from the fog and drink it? Especially when we're living Maine, where the air is moisture twenty four seven. Initially inspired by a fog harvesting mesh that mimics the surface structure of the desert beetle, we found that it is important for the device to be small and portable so that anyone can help conserve water with any container they have in hands. Therefore, we mimic the shape of the earwig wings, whose capability to fold and expand reduces the surface area of the hydro trap and allows it to be transported easily. On the fog capturing side, we design water pumps that resemble the elm structure of the desert moss, which grooves and barbs collect elliptical water droplets at the base. We also mimic the water channels that were discovered on the spiky skin of Texas horned lizards and insert them under the elm structure, allowing water droplets to slide straight down to the container along a hydrophobic screen. Yes, the second part of the design is a water repelling surface used on both sides of the screen, similar to the structure of cicada wings. The surface of hydro trap is built with nano pillars that repel water molecules. While the appliance of a hydrophobic surface on the interior side of the screen increases the momentum of water droplets, the advantage of inserting nano pillars on the exterior side is to make it hygienic. Such surface repels not only water and dirt but also bacteria. Can you imagine a time when everyone has a hydro trap? Instead of buying a bottle of water before going for a hike, you can harvest the water from the air while hiking and drink as much water as you want. If you get trapped in the woods, don't worry. At least you won't die from thirst.